50 years ago this month, on February 8, 1958, Cairo TV aired their first live television program, The J.P. Patches Show. It turned Chris Wiedis' character J.P. Patches into a household name. The show went on to air for 23 years, and it won countless awards. It was the longest-running locally produced children's program in the country. Today, we'll get a rare glimpse of the man behind the makeup at the Kim Drew Art Studios in Seattle, where they've built a mock-up of the original J.P. Patches set. Chris, what do you remember about that first day way back? Wait a minute, I, I want I want this interview to end right here. Oh, I'm going to tear no. up your screen. Oh my gosh! Now you did that to somebody once before on, All right, on camera, but I'm not going to let you do it to me. Okay. What was your favorite? Or not? What was your favorite? What was your? What do you remember about that day? So you're going to get me the very off first the day. The very first day, February eighth, nineteen fifty-eight. Your first telecast. Well, it was all new to me because uh, I came from Minneapolis originally. Right. I did uh, several shows. Uh, back there, and uh, it was 10 o'clock in the morning, and I had had a couple of rehearsals with the crew, and they weren't quite sure who and what J.P. Patches was really like. Mm -hmm. And after the program, they all came around and said, wow, it's a winner. And they knew right away that uh, J.P. Patches was going to be a favorite here in Seattle, because when it was unlike any other uh, kid show in the area at sure. that time. How and when was the content determined for each of the J.P. Patches shows? Uh, usually in the morning, a cup of coffee, maybe <laughs> two cups of coffee. The afternoon, we gave a little more thought and time mm -hmm. to. Uh, oftentimes, uh, we had uh, a few little uh, artifacts made. Uh, my director, Joe Tui, was a whiz at putting things together. Kind of like Kim Drew has put this beautiful uh, J.P. Patches set together, and here we are in his studio. Uh, and he would come up with things, and uh, it, it was uh, a real joy to work with him. So it wasn't scripted, it was just kind of off the cuff, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, uh, we okay. never had a script. Wow. Now, being that there were several hours between each of the two shows, what did you do in between? Uh, besides having lunch? Yes, besides having lunch. <laughs> Uh, I would go out with the salespeople and uh, uh, make calls, and I had a lot of uh, commercials, uh, local commercials. Uh, Hanson Sunbeam Bread was a big commercial uh, sponsor. I had uh, Sunny Jim Peanut Butter. And you used to do those commercials live on the show Live, yourself. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. How did the costume for JP originate, and where did you get all those different buttons and emblems? Where do they all come from? Uh, well, originally I had patches, and then mm -hmm. kids would give me buttons and pins. Oh. And then I started to accumulate those. And then the police and the firemen hmm. would see me and say, hey, I've got a patch. Mm -hmm. So I started wearing patch. In fact, I was pulled over once by a Washington State patrolman. <laughs> and I said, I haven't done anything. He said, I have a patch I want you to wear. Oh. And I, I've got pulled it. you over to give you the patch. Y yes. Oh. Do you have any idea how many J.P. Patches costumes there have been over the years? Oh, roughly, I'd say maybe seven, eight, or nine. I had one stolen once. Uh, I had just finished a, uh, a telethon for the Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. and I went to a restaurant, and I had my costume in the suitcase in my car, and I had uh, something to eat, and I went home. The next day, I went to the station to do the program. Lo and behold, the suitcase was gone. Someone ripped it off, and I oh. uh, never got it back. How long does it what take you? What do you have you? in your closet? I, you know, I was just going to say, um, <laughs> I sold that on eBay. Oh. <laughs> that was the only way I could afford to come here to be with you today. How long does it take you to transform yourself from Chris Wiedis to J.P. Patches? Uh, I would say about uh, half an hour, half 35 an hour. minutes. Wow. Yes, yeah. You did all the makeup yourself. Yes. And, and it takes about uh, the same length of time to remove the makeup, hmm. especially around my eyes. It's very difficult hmm. to get the clown uh, white off my eyes. I walk around like this, like I'm winking at everyone. <laughs> Over the years, you had a number of celebrities guests on your show. Yes. Do you have a favorite? I think uh, my favorite was uh, besides yourself. Yeah, besides myself. Uh, uh, gosh, I, I had uh, I had Jacques Cousteau on. Uh, oh, it was, really? It was wonderful. Mm. Uh, I had. Uh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, some of the stars. Yeah, Beverly Garland. I think you had the guy that played uh, uh, Robin from Bat Batman and Robin. Yes. Um, I had uh, Burt Ward. Of all the people I had on my program, there was only one person I requested an autograph from, and that was Jesse Owens. Okay. And Jesse Owens was sure. the, the, uh, the uh, Olympic uh, gold medal winner. 
and I got his autograph. Uh -huh. And then I went and took my makeup off. Guess what? what? I came back to pick up the autograph. It was missing. Never got it back. Oh. Huh. <laughs> now, anyone that knows J.P. Patches knows that J.P. is an incredible practical joker. And one day, I understand, on I think it was April Fool's Day, you went and attempted to tie the uh, weatherman, Harry Wappler's shoes, tie his shoelaces together. Well, I was crawling on the floor, so no one could see me. Yeah. And uh, Harry, and I got real close to his shoes, and I was all set ready to tie his shoelaces, and he made some remark. He said, oh, what's going on here? And the camera panned down and mm -hmm. saw me. Right. And I realized I was on camera. So what was I going to do? So I stood up, and unbeknownst, now this was a complete surprise to me. I, I hit... The, uh, the, board. the weather board. Yes. Well, at that time, all of the numbers were, uh, uh, they were magnetized, yeah. and they all fell to the floor. But good old Harry, he, he managed. So he, come on, you're telling me you didn't mean to knock the, no, the magnets off the board? No, I honestly didn't. I didn't. Oh, I don't know. I think there's a JP in there. You've got to believe me, folks. Mm. What's been your, your favorite uh, moment or your favorite experience playing JP Patches, or what's been the, the biggest highlight of your career being JP Patches? Well, one of the biggest highlights was uh, one morning uh, when I was doing the program, there was a knock on the door, and uh, two people came in from Children's Orthopedic Hospital, and they informed me that never before had this been done. They uh, were assigning a, a wing at the hospital called the J.P. Patches Wing in my honor because over the years I had seen so many children there at the hospital. They wanted to honor me, and uh, it was probably the first time for me that I was speechless. Wow. So uh, it was, it was quite, quite an honor. honor. Unfortunately, they did some remodeling and the wing had to be demolished uh, a few years ago, so it's no longer there. But at the time, uh, I made uh, several visits to the hospital and the wing, and it was really a special, special honor for me. Now, in honor of J.P. Patch's 50th year anniversary, there will be a statue dedicated, a statue of J.P. Patches and Gertrude in the Fremont area of Seattle, and that's going to be happening on June 21st. And they're still looking for people to help. That's summer, that's summer solstice. That's summer solstice. Yes, and, and big parade. You know, Fremont is known for their parade. And hopefully it'll be a nice day that day. Oh, uh, I but guarantee They're still it. looking for people to help, and you can find out a lot more about this at J.P. Patches website. Also, they have a link there where you can buy all different kinds of J.P. Patches memorabilia. Oh, and could I say one thing, You can say Jeff? whatever you like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, we, we promote the statue, but actually it's a fundraiser for Children's Hospital. Oh, that's right. Because there okay. will be a collection uh, deposit there at the ICU2 TV set where money over the years will be given to the hospital for the children. Very nice. Yeah. But I also want to mention that you can actually have J.P. Patches appear at one of your private parties. So to find out anything and everything you ever want to know about J.P. Patches, simply go to jppatches.com.